everyone. Welcome. Come, come inside. We're going to take a moment, completely situated, get people um, some time to get on this Instagram live. So hi, everyone. My name is Ivy Marquez. I'm a junior here at Lehigh University. I am studying English and Sociology with a minor in theater. I've been a tour guide for almost three years, and I'm actually going to be tour guide coordinator next year, which is super exciting. I'm also an admissions fellow, and I'm involved in a lot of things on campus. But today, I'm really going to talk about food on campus, which is one of my favorite topics to talk about on tours. Um, really, the gist of it is that you'll never go hungry here at Lehigh. Right now, we're at one of our biggest dining halls. This is Rathbone Dining Hall. This is primarily the biggest dining hall on campus. This is where a lot of first years and uh, sophomores go on campus. Um, there's a lot of stations, and we're going to talk a lot about the different things that you can eat here at Rathbone, um, and as well as other options on campus. Before we get into Rathbone, I do want to mention those other options. Um, so our other dining hall is Lower Court, which is at the University Center. There's also this place called Upper Court, which is like your mall style type of dining where they have like your knockoff Chipotle, your knockoff Chick-fil-A, Chinese food, sushi, this place called Chicken Bop, which is a Korean barbecue, which is really cool. Um, and then there's also this place called Hawk's Nest, which is open for late night dining. Um, so if you do ever miss dinner at the night, either dining hall, you can go to Hawk's Nest where they have a lot of like your late night cravings. They have burgers, milkshakes, they have a lot of really great milkshakes. Um, they have mozzarella sticks, chicken fingers, and a bunch more. But today we are here at Rathbone Dining Hall, and I do just want to take a moment to just walk around and show you the different stations. So this first station is called Veg Out. This is primarily where you would find a lot of your veggie options. So it's very vegetarian friendly. Um, they got a lot of great greens here today. Um, they got chicken pea and cuckoo's patty. They got Ethiopian vegetable stew and a bunch more. And the cool thing about Rathbone is that they do try to have different cuisine options. So sometimes there's like a Greek night or maybe there is like a Taco Tuesday. One of our favorite ones is um, Chicken Finger Friday, which a lot of upperclassmen still try to come into the dining halls for. Um, and so you really don't have to be eating the same type of foods all the time here at Rathbone, Lower Core, or other dining options here on campus. Um, there's a lot of different types of cuisines that are offered at these different dining halls. But as we continue, I want to take you to this station. It's actually one of my favorite stations. I actually come here a lot. Um, so this is the Simple Serving Station. So this is very gluten-free friendly if you have a nut allergy, um, if you're lactose intolerant. Um, really any sort of type of dietary restriction that you have, this would be a really good station to come to. I do want to take notice this little sign right here which tells you all the things that the food is not made out of. Um, so if you do have any dietary restrictions and you don't, if you have questions, we do have a dietitian here at Rathbone which you can meet with, set up a meeting if you have any questions about food on campus, um, even if you want to eat like, you know, if you're on a diet or anything, they're a really great resource here on campus and if you have any concerns with any of the food at the dining hall, that would be a really great resource for. But I do want to take notice some of the food they have here which is really good. Like I said, it's my favorite station. Um, they have just a lot of really good healthy options. And the cool thing to add on to that, I want to point out the hydropic cardiff here that they have where they grow fresh herbs right here that they use for simple servings at all the other stations here at Rathbone. This is actually something that's fairly new and it's really cool because you know you, you really do get the sense scent of fresh um, herbs and whatnot here um, and just getting some nice organic and fresh food here at Rathbone. Um, so definitely a really cool thing that they just implemented. Um, I do want to go on this side and show you some of the other food we have here. So this is where you can get some of like really good pizza actually. So they have a charcoal grill on hand which is really cool. So they make fresh pizza. You know students really do like eating their pizza so sometimes they run out and they're just making fresh pizza all the time especially during dinner and lunch. Um, some of my favorite stations are actually this way as well which will make our way over here. My freshman year, I actually used to come to the station a lot. Um, basically, they don't make the pasta itself fresh, but they make the sauce and all the other toppings fresh right in front of you. Um, they don't have anything out right now, but basically here, you would have a lot of your toppings for your pasta, the different sauces, and then they would just make it right in front of you. Sometimes they would have pho, which is a really good um, 
Vietnamese stew. Um, and they have like different nights where they change it up over here at this station. But I have a lot of fond memories of me and my friends coming here. Usually the line is super long during dinner. Um, and they just have a lot of really good options here for pasta. Over here we do have some pasta over here. So just to give you a sense of some of the pasta the options they have here. Um, and yeah, it's just a really good place um, if you just want to get just a nice like fresh meal. Over here we have another station um, where they have other food options. Um, we do have chicken fingers here today, um, which is really good because it's Chicken Finger Friday. Um, but here are some of the other options that they have. Um, we're gonna actually going to make our way this way and show you some other stations. Like I said, Raccoon is really big. Um, yeah, so just to get into a little bit of meal swipes and meal options of how to pay for things on campus. Um, so you do have different meal plans. I do want to like break it up. Um, and like start, I'm actually gonna pause right here. Um, so I do wanna like make a note that first years do have to have a meal plan. Um, the different meal plan options you have is unlimited, 225, 250, and 200. You do have to have something above 200. Um, I don't always recommend the unlimited because you don't think you're gonna go to the dining hall that much. Um, so honestly, the 250 is a really great meal plan to have. There is no specific limit uh, for the 200s, like that range for meal plans, but Unlimited does have a limit that you have to use throughout the week. Um, so you can't just uh, go and pay the meal swipe options towards the weekend um, in the different dining halls because the cool thing about meal swipes is that you can swipe into the dining halls, but you can use it to pay for other things on campus. Like I said, mentioned earlier, we have Hawk's Nest, we have the different cafes on campus. They offer a lot of really great options for like smoothies and sandwiches and stuff. You can use your meal swipes to pay for that. We also have this thing called Dining Dollars, which is basically added onto your meal plan. And it's another way that you can pay for food on campus. Um, especially outside of the dining hall. And then there's Gold Plus, which is like really high debit card. And the cool thing about Gold Plus is that you can actually use it off campus at a lot of the off campus restaurants as well. Um, some of my favorites are the Goose, Johnny's Bagels, the Cup, which is a really great ice cream place. So if you want to use uh, Gold Plus off campus, you could also use it at off campus um, supermarkets like Sea Town, for example. So um, just a lot of different ways that you could make sure that you don't get, um, get hungry here on Lehigh's campus. We also have a kitchen in every um, dorm, so basically if you get tired of any of the food for some reason, you can definitely cook for yourself as well. But we're actually going to make our way, I do want to point out on this side, so this is the cereal station. We have different options for milk, cereal. Um, on this side we have our breads and spreads, which basically if you have a bagel, waffle, toast, um, etc. A lot of different options for toppings. Um, we're going to make our way this way. They actually just expanded the dessert station, so they have a lot of new options. Um, my freshman year, they would always run out of mint chocolate chip ice cream because that is a fan favorite. Luckily, it's still here today. Um, but there's a lot of different options for um, ice cream toppings. There's also a frozen yogurt um, station um, that, that way, actually. Um, then we got some other treats, some baked goods. Um, really, really good. I really do like the pie um, in the dining halls. I always like to go and stop at the pie. Um, they always have apple pie available, so any apple pie fans, you're in for a treat, literally. <laughs> More dessert options. Um, they have friendly options for people who are lactose intolerant or have a nut allergy, so you definitely have a lot of options for dessert as well. We got waffles here. I love making waffles, especially um, literally during dinner. I don't always eat them for breakfast, which is really funny. Um, on this side, we have our soups and chowders. Um, they're always, always really, really good. Um, we have crackers and stuff if you want to add some of that in your soups and chowders. We're going to make our way this way. And basically, here's where you would get your fruit, salad, yogurt. Um, a lot of different options, a lot of different options for dressing as well. Um, we have other toppings that you can add for salad because it's also the salad bar station on this side. Um, honestly, you can really customize and make the salad however way you want. Um, I usually like to come over here when I just want something else that's super fresh other than simple servings over there. Um, on the other side, we're going to make our way over there so you can check it out. Um, but I do want to make a note of this beautiful view that you would have if you were here at Rathbone. It's so beautiful during dinner time because the sun is setting. You get this whole beautiful view of the Lehigh Valley. Um, and there's just so much space to sit here, especially with your friends. we got tables, booths, um, and high top chairs, which is really cool. 
As we make our way over here, I'm going to take you to the sandwich station. It's basically like Subway. You ask them how you want your sandwich to be made. You can make wraps, paninis, all sorts of different things, and they have different options that you can make your sandwiches in. Um, they even have a panini presser, which is really cool. Um, I usually like to come over here when I need to get a really quick bite in before class. Um, a lot of really great options. Chicken salad is my favorite. As we make our way over here, there's a lot of different beverage options. So basically, all the sodas that you can think of. Uh, we also have juice as well. This is actually one of my favorite things at Rathbone. Um, they usually like to have infused waters, and it's different every single day. It doesn't taste like pears or ginger, really. It just has a hint of it, and I don't know, it's pretty refreshing. Um, so we make our way this way. If you are a coffee addict, this is your home right here. A lot of different options. Um, French vanilla, decaf, dark roast. Um, honestly, I love coming here when I need to, when I know I'm going to study later. So it's a really great place just to get really quick coffee. Um, here are some toppings for our grill that I'm going to make um, our way over and some condiments. But the grill here is actually one of the staples here at Rathbone. Um, they have a lot of different options today. As you can see, we got more chicken fingers. We got cheeseburgers, grilled cheese sandwiches, fried eggs up there, french fries. They always got french fries over here. Um, and the cool thing is that actually during breakfast, um, you can actually get omelets and stuff over here. The grill will make fresh omelets right in front of you and breakfast sandwiches, so it's not just uh, lunch and dinner. Um, they also make fresh burgers here as well as lo in lower court they have the same grill station. Um, and it's just a really good place if you want to get like kind of like diner type of food. Um, really does hit the spot if you're craving something sort of greasy. Um, but yeah, definitely a fan favorite. Um, students always like to get the french fries for every single meal they have. But I promise there's a lot of different fresh options if you want. So we're actually going to make our way this way. So after you're done eating, after you've had a really great meal here at Rathbone, you actually come this way and drop off your food. We have a really great system where you just leave your place right here and then you drop your utensils there. Um, usually, you know, you just try to make it as like, you know, comfortable for the people who are working here as possible. Um, and then actually we just passed it, but if we turn around this way, this is where the dietitian is. Um, they have, you know, they're here for office hours and you can definitely check on the website when they're here. But this is their office. Um, you can actually take a peek inside if you like. But they're pretty much on there. What's really cool is that you can see the email and phone number. So if you need to, you know, contact them for any sort of emergency, it's right there for you. But yeah, we're going to make our way this way. And I'm going to answer a few questions. So first question, um, I think I already answered. Um, the next question I'll answer is, can I take food? to go or do I have to eat it at the dining hall? So as actually we're perfect that we're right here, we actually have this thing called to-go boxes. Um, basically you will swipe out um, and you'll take a to-go box. You'll come in and you'll pick up any food you can fit in it and then you'll, you'll be able to take it out. Um, and it's just make sure that you bring it back. You don't have to clean it, but it would be nice if you did. But basically you can bring it back dirty if you like and you would just drop it off at that section that I just showed you earlier. The next thing is, are all the food places in the same price range? Yes, they are. Um, so basically, a meal swipe costs like $4.75. That's the meal price for a meal swipe. Um, and you could use that all over campus. So if you're getting food um, at, say, Global Commons Cafe, it will be the same price range as The Grind, which is in FML, which is Fairchild Martindale Library. Um, so basically, all food is the same price range. Yeah, so uh, if there are any questions in the chat, I'll be able to um, answer them right now. There aren't any questions. Um, but yeah, this was Rathbone Hall. I hope you enjoy this Instagram Live. Um, I loved give, giving tours and everything. So thank you so much for joining us today. And have a great Friday.